So Ring has a new feature that allows you to set up end-to-end -end encryption on your videos, but this is a feature you actually have to opt into. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set that up, so stay tuned. So there's been a lot of controversy about security camera recordings and actually how private they are. There have been specific issues to Ring where employees have looked at footage or hackers have looked at footage. And a few months back, Ring enabled a new feature that enables end-to-end -end encryption between your footage that is stored in the cloud and your mobile device. But you actually have to opt in and turn that feature on. Also recently to improve privacy, Ring has enabled a two-factor authentication, which is actually mandatory. So that was awesome to see them enforce that feature. But for this end-to-end -end encryption, you actually do have to opt in and turn this on which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our mobile device. Now you're gonna to wanna to use the mobile device that you want to enable with the end-to-end -end encryption because you are going to be actually setting up that specific device. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Ring app here. Okay, so now that I have the app loaded up, in the top left corner where you see those three dashes, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Scroll down to Control Center. It's gonna load up the Control Center. What I wanna do is I actually want to go to Video Encryption. Then we're gonna go to Advanced Settings. Gonna go to End-to-End -end Encryption. And then from here, we're gonna tap on Enable End-to-End -end Encryption. So once you tap on that, it's gonna actually take you through the settings for setting this up. One thing that Ring does mention on their site is that you're going to be setting up a passphrase. This passphrase is very important that you do not forget, so they recommend writing it down, placing it somewhere where you're not going to forget it because they say they cannot recover this passphrase. And that passphrase is going to be used to set up the encryption between the device and the server. So do not lose that. I will actually put a link below if you guys want to check out Ring step-by-step -step instructions on their site. It's got a little bit more detail on actually going through the next steps here, but essentially that is how you turn on end-to-end -end encryption with your Ring cameras. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention is that it is not available for all Ring cameras. I will put a list up here on the screen showing you all the cameras that you can enable this feature through, but unfortunately it's not going to be all of them. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next video.